and this is what I'll be using to fill it up with it's the good stuff so I won't have to worry about doing that for a little while Okay, so I got this refill plug loosened just to make sure that I could get this opened after I drain it, because after I drain it, if I can't get it open, then I can't fill it. Uh, everything is loose now. Took a little bit to get these uh, broke loose. Put a little PB blaster got them loose and I'm gonna get a screwdriver and a mallet and pry this thing apart uh, I'm gonna leave these on for now but they're nice and loose the top one I'll keep so that we can swivel the bottom open and let all the old fluid drain out Get off there. There you go. It smells like peanuts. You smell like peanuts. The economy, am I right? So supposedly this is the highest inflation we've seen in 40 years. And I talked to a gold dealer and he said, what the hell's going on? Gold should be at least $5,000 silver at least a hundred dollars and it's doing nothing but going sideways so I think uh, this whole thing is a uh, is a show they're gonna milk everybody dry hope you guys got a lot of milk all right this is coming off and I'm gonna clean the inside of it Ooh. Okay. Now that's what the inside of my 350 looks like. Oh man, that stuff stinks. Now I smell it. So I'm going to let that drain out and I'll clean off these edges, take the gasket off. Uh, the gears look alright. I don't see any metal shavings or anything. It looks good. What the heck, I decided to hit it with some paint. Since I was cleaning it up, I just cleaned it up as best I could and covered up some of that rust. So 
but what I'll do is put the top and bottom nut in bolt and then line it up and put in the cover and the best I can without smearing everything. Tighten and tighten. Now that it's all torqued down, we have the gasket sealer coming out and I'm going to wait 24 hours to let this cure before I fill up the oil. So today I got some news that the Canadian border lifted all of their mandates, you know, for the thing, that invisible thing, and uh, it's allowing travelers to freely move across the border in and out without having to use the stupid arrive can app or showing proof of any kind of snake bite you know how I feel about that so as of October 1st 2022 you can move freely like it was 2019 So maybe we're going to take this van and do the Canadian road trip from Vancouver to Nova Scotia that I've always wanted to do but I thought would never happen because of these ridiculous mandates. I'd like to drive up the coast, up the west coast and enter into Vancouver and check out the back countries of Vancouver because it is beautiful there I've never been to Vancouver only on a stopover and from a lot of the van channels that I watch um, the Vancouver area looks really really nice to do some van camping so it's possible that we take a trip up that way I already did the American trip we went from California up to let's see Nevada Utah Colorado um, Nebraska Iowa Chicago, Detroit, up into Toronto, and we were on a timeline. I had to get there real quick because we had an Airbnb appointment, so we were kind of rushing through. And now that we have this van, we can take our time and not have to spend money on hotels.
There was a lot of money wasted on hotels on that last trip. So yeah, we could see a cross Canada road trip coming up. So the battery ran out on my other camera and uh, here's the finished. I got three pints. Yeah, I got three pints and a little bit of a fourth. I'll just keep that on the side just in case this thing leaks. But so far so good. The seal is nice and cured. And uh, yeah. There you go. A rear diff gear oil change. Never done it before.